Hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV, coming from Wildwind. We're just gonna to look today at different methods of attaching your bowsprit or spinnaker pole on your catamaran. So what we're looking to achieve here is if we measure the luff of our spinnaker and then we want to have the tip of the spinnaker pole where the block is, the same length as the luff of the spinnaker plus between 10 and 20 centimeters between the tip of the pole and the block where the halyard goes to on the mast. You can measure this with a soft tape measure. With the tip of the pole in that position, we just want to have, then have a slight bend in the spinnaker pole by pulling up from the bridle wires to the bowsprit to put a slight bend in and that will stop you from breaking your spinnaker pole. With most boats, it'll already have an element which is fixed so for example on this boat we've got wire pole bridles which come down and they just pin onto the bow tang there we might have a strut which means we don't have any choice here uh, where the pole is lifted so if we have a strut that means that that distance there is set so we don't have any choice if it doesn't happen to be the exact right length then it might be wise to remove the strut replace it just for a normal shackle where the bridle wires meet and then use rope instead so then we have some choice of adjustment if you have got wire pole bridles and they're too long so the tip of the pole is going too high then what we can do is effectively shorten these pole bridles like we've done here by lashing some rope around it which is pulling that in which is pulling the tip of the pole down as well as the pole bridles we have intermediate pole bridles which come halfway along the pole all the wires or ropes which are holding the spinnaker pole up or the bridle wires should be tight to make sure that the spinnaker pole cannot move. If your pole bridles are too short, then we can lengthen with a small rope, which can then be set to your length. If you're either making your own pole, pole bridles, which you should do using three millimeter Dyneema rope, then what is very important is that you're getting the bowsprit right in the middle like this the same if you're lengthening your wire pole bridles again make sure that the bowsprit is ending up in the middle so intermediate pole bridles on this boat uh, we're trying to get plenty of tension on those so I've actually put a loop in the rope to get some purchase so that we can pull that tight there. So do refer back to the attaching the bowsprit movie, maybe we can see that here, which will have a bit more of a detailed explanation of how you would uh, attach the bowsprit, would you believe? With retensioning the ropes, if you're not sailing very often, each time you go out just make sure that all of the lines holding the spinnaker pole, the pole bridles, the rope that lifts the pole, and the intermediate pole bridles are tight. If they're not, you can just tighten them all up. If the pole bridles and intermediate pole bridles are loose, then your reason is going to be because the, po the pole lifting line has become too loose. So you can just tighten this one up, and that will tighten up the other ropes. But when tightening the pole lifting rope, do make sure the regular bridle wires are definitely taking the weight of the rig and it's not being taken by the bowsprit. So don't over tighten that rope. Okay, so hopefully that has answered any questions regarding attaching the spinnaker pole, how to attach that. Thanks again to all my Patreons for helping me to make these videos. Patreons, Patreons, these videos, more coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.